Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So now, welcome back. So now, this uh, in this lecture, so what we have seen earlier that we have seen in the beginning, finite difference method, which was uh, done into the Euler formulation. And now we have done the mesh free particle method, which is in the Lagrangian formulation. And now, I will show you in this lecture that what is the advantage of using Euler formulation and what is the advantage of using Lagrangian formulation? Yeah. So here Eulerian form versus Lagrangian method. You don't uh, confuse with the Euler scheme and Eulerian. Because this uh, one is Eulerian coordinate system, another is the Lagrangian coordinate system. So we had that, for example, del rho by del t plus a del rho by del x is equal to zero. Yeah. So when we did the finite difference scheme, so finite difference upwinding. Finite difference of winding was rho i of n plus 1 is rho i of n minus delta t rho i minus rho i minus 1 by delta x. So it was finite difference formulation. Yeah? This is in Eulerian. So this is the Eulerian coordinate system, but in Lagrangian in Lagrangian we had dx by dt is zero as a a and d rho by dt was zero. So there was nothing to do be nothing to be done, but in arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian. So in A L E it was dx by dt is a by two because we split it this a into half and half, and then d rho by so it is x i i by dt is minus a by 2 del rho by del x at time level i. So in the upwinding, so this is the upwinding scheme. So central difference we have seen it was giving oscillation. So we had to do the if a, a is positive, yeah. So for example, so here for a positive, yeah, if it is negative, we must have taken the rho i plus 1 minus rho i. And here in the ALA formulation, what we have that it is a, a by 2, the velocity is now is a, a by 2, we have split at this half, and then we have to compute this part. So if it is positive, so we have to take the neighbor list from the left side. So for the viscous term, so advection. Advection diffusion equation, what we have that del rho by del t plus in Eulerian, yeah, form del rho by del t plus u del rho by uh, say a 
del rho by del x is equal to d del 2 rho by del x square. Then finite difference. So here also what we can do that now let me come back again. So now if I want to do the Euler and coordinate the mesh free method in Euler and coordinate system. Yeah. So mesh free method in Eulerian form or coordinate system. So what I will have exactly the same. So what I will do that instead of computing this into the Lagrangian form, I will do it directly in an instead of ALE. So I would do use directly like this. So what I will have, so I will have del rho by del t is equal to minus a. So everything del rho by del t minus a del rho by del x of i. So here we compute. Yeah, so we don't move particle exactly same as here, but here we compute del rho by del x of i with MLS method instead of finite difference method. Yeah? So similar with similarly with advection diffusion equation. So in advection diffusion equation what we will have that we solve del rho i by del t is equal to minus a, so no Lagrangian form, minus a del rho by del x f i plus d times del 2 rho by del x i square. So here we solve this derivative and this derivative with the mesh free method. But in finite difference, we approximated this with the central difference, this also with the central difference, but here it is with the mesh free. So here, the advantage of using mesh free method that we can have always very irregular grid, yeah, very unstructured grid. But in finite difference, we should have very structured grid. So if your geometry is very complicated, or if you have some moving moving object in your geometry, then this uh, this uh, regular grid, structure grid would give you a problem because you have to compute the intersection between the boundary of the moving object and the cell. But here, what we have that then that regularity will give the trouble. But here, since it is with the unstructured grid, therefore we can have anywhere. The doesn't matter how the grid are lying. So same technique we can you apply. Same we can apply for Burger's equation. So only with the Burger equation, the difference will be here rho of i instead of a, and here rho of i instead of a, and here this viscosity. Either you take the that epsilon or d, it is more or less same. And now we take that. So the the thing is that the disadvantage of this uh, Eulerian formulation is that since what you have to do that here in the Lagrange form, in Lagrangian form, what I have.
So I have dx y it is d rho i by dt is equal to directly d del to rho i by del x square. Yeah. So this convecting part is hiding, so we don't have to take care. But now in the Eulerian formulation is following that if your convective part is much larger than the diffusive part, then this convection dominates the diffusion. Then what you will have that you have to apply the upwinding here. And here, of course, the upwinding will give you again the problem because you will have less number of points. Therefore, applying the upwinding first order and applying and the second order, so it may give you the trouble. But here directly, you can directly apply the second order. It means that, you know, the upwinding gives you some diffusion, but here in the Lagrangian formulation, there is no upwinding. Therefore, we avoid the diffusion. And then we'll see now in the numerical simulation, what are the advantages of applying Lagrangian, where it is advantage, where it is disadvantage. So disadvantage of Lagrangian is that if you have very regular, very simple grid, you don't use a Lagrangian because there you have to apply all the particle management, adding, removing point. So that will take you longer computational time. But if everything fine, nothing, a very regular structure, the geometry, and not a moving object is there, just apply the Euler scheme. So not always the Lagrangian schemes are suitable. But in such a case where the Eulerian classical finite difference method are not suitable, not fit, so apply the Lagrangian. But we'll see that even with the Lagrangian, even with the Eulerian formulation, we'll see some problem. So now uh, we make a small break and see the numerical simulation. Okay, now let us come back to our uh, the numerical simulation. First, we consider this into the Eulerian form. So it means I solve this equation so where I compute the del rho by del x with the upwinding method. And then, uh, so just look at the solution. So we have this uh, into the Euler formulation. If I am doing the upwinding, it is fine. But when I do so also, you know, the whether I do the mass free or finite difference, if I apply the central difference, I get the oscillation. So it is now Euler formulation with the upwinding scheme, no oscillation. Now, if we look the linear advection with the ALE, so this one, so we get almost similar solution. Yeah, it is same as it is whether you use the upwinding. Eulerian or it is the ALE formulation. So maybe here you see the ALE formulation is having little bit deviation. Let's just take that. I am having the, the height, the numerical height around, uh, it is uh, the Y value is 0 0.80. Just check this one. So it is a little bit higher. You see now. So I am having, uh, it is, uh, is more or less same, not so bigger. So maybe here in this case, that uh, the Eulerian formulation was uh, better because I am just moving with the artificial velocity. And now you will come to the linear advection diffusion equation. So I have, when I apply linear advection diffusion equation, so I consider the diffusion 0 0.001. So let us see how the solution looks like. So this is the Eulerian formulation. Now there is the oscillation. What does it mean? So I am having very, very small diffusion coefficient. So it's the, ad the advection is much larger. So this advecting is con uh, somehow dominating. Then I should have used uh, the upwinding method here to approximate the first order derivative. But if I apply this, same with the same diffusion. So instead of Eulerian formulation, and then what I will have that this part is gone. So I will not have any more convective part. I have only the diffusive part. So with the same 
diffusion coefficient let us see yeah so if i have the same diffusion coefficient so i don't have the oscillation yeah so here the plotting is a little problem so i am not going to plot the exact solution now you check with the Euler and coordinate with the same diffusion here yeah so i get oscillation very beginning yeah it's already in the early stage i get oscillation yeah if i go further the solution is oscillating but the same case when i have the lagrangian so no oscillation so that is the advantage so what is the advantage is that of form if the flow is convecting is convection dominated one has to one has to use upwinding upwinding approximation for del rho by del x which is first order has numerical diffusion yeah but in so that is in the this is in Eulerian formulation yeah a Eulerian coordinate system but in Lagrangian So in Lagrangian, we the convective part part is not it is as implicitly convective part is not there. So no need of upwinding this implies no or less or no numerical yeah so if you have the Eulerian coordinate so this this part you have to compute with the first order Upwinding that has we have seen in our earlier example, all the first order upwinding scheme gives the numerical diffusion. It means your solution it will be much far away from the exact solution. But this part will be fine. But here, what we have then, if you don't use the upwinding here, we got the oscillation what we have seen there with the center with the without upwinding. But now in the Lagrangian that this part is not there so it is due to the lagrangian formulation this convective part is not there we have to compute only the diffusive part so it means there is no effect of numerical viscosity so that is the advantage of what we have seen even so even if it is the convective dominated it has the eulerian form has the the oscillation but in the lagrangian form with the same diffusion we don't have the oscillation let us check if I increase the diffusion, what will happen with the Euler formulation? Yeah? Maybe my diffusion was very large. So let me make diffusion very big. So 0 0.1. I hope the oscillation will be less. Yeah. And let us try with the this Lagrangian form advection diffusion with the same oscillation, with the same diffusion coefficient. So it is working, yeah with the Eulerian yeah they are fine so they are fine unless 
the viscosity dominates the convective part. But when the convective part, the viscosity is very small, the convective part dominates. In that case, what will I will have that in the Eulerian part, if I just take now less than 0 0.1, 10 times smaller than 0 0.1. So the diffusion, it is the Lagrange is fine, but with this one, it was 0 0.1. Now with the coordinate Eulerian form, let me take 0 0.01. Let us check whether the solution oscillate or not. So even with 0 0.01, it is oscillating. Yeah. So, but in the Lagrangian form, it is not oscillating. Yeah. Everything fine. So even with 0 0.01, and now you forget 0 0.001. Let me check again with the Eulerian formulation 0 0.01. It's much worse, oscillating too much. With the Lagrangian, even very, very small epsilon, there is no problem. Yeah, everything is fine. Now, the question is that when it was almost zero, then it became central difference in the Euler formulation. But in the Lagrangian, everything, this is exactly if it's zero, we get the exact solution. So that is the difference with the, uh, the Eulerian and Lagrangian formulation. Now let us come to the Burger equation. Yeah. So when I have my our Burger equation, so it is uh, the Burger equation. So I will have the same. Everything is same. Either I apply the ALA formulation or the Eulerian formulation. So let us say with the Eulerian formulation for the Burger equation. So it is fine because I am using the upwinding there. There is no problem. I see also in the linear advection, the upwinding Eulerian or Lagrangian are fine. So if it is a burger, even in the Eulerian system, what do we get? So central difference always uh, oscillating. So if it is a burger, is the viscous burger equation or is the viscous one? So now I add some viscosity in the burger equation. You see, this is in the Eulerian formulation with a viscous form. But when I have the, the Burger equation with a viscous form, this is fine. So you see here, so for the epsilon, I have taken for the Burger equation 0 0.01 with a viscous form. So I am getting no oscillation. Yeah. But if I apply the same viscous form of Burger equation with epsilon 0 0.01, so it is a Lagrangian. So this is again, let me rename in order to, to avoid the confusion. Viscous Burger in the Lagrangian, okay? So viscous Burger or maybe the Burger viscous, this, that, this will be easier. Burger viscous. So this is a burger viscous Lagrangian form. It has epsilon 0 0.01. So no oscillation once more. But if I use a burger with the Eulerian with the same 0 0.01, I get the oscillation. Yeah. So maybe if I take larger, so we are not expecting, if I take larger viscosity for the Eulerian form, yes, we got the, the stable solution. And let us take with the viscous Burger equation, sure, there is also, we will get uh, stable, but very smooth smearing solution, yeah? So they are same, as long as the large, Viscosity is there, whether it is a linear equation or non-linear equation, we have no problem. We get the, either Eulerian or Lagrangian formulation, we get the similar solution, a smooth solution, but when the viscosity is very small compared to the advective part, either it is a linear or non-linear, we get the oscillation. 
So I think uh, this uh, gives you that now you have understood what are the advantages, why we use the Lagrangian or even the arbitrary Eulerian Lagrangian or purely Lagrangian or purely Eulerian, what are the advantages and disadvantages. Now you can, I hope you can reproduce all the MATLAB result um, with this using. So I have presented you first the Eulerian formulation with a finite difference that you can find in any classical books. Then second scheme I have presented you a Lee arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian or fully Lagrangian scheme. Then with that one we have used upwinding, central difference and if there was a problem with the particle management I have introduced you to use the reconstruction method is like a reprojecting a particle into the old position. From old position you move to the new position. There you compute the new value and then you project back to the old position. That is a particle reprojection or particle reconstruction method. So there we have avoided using the particle adding or particle removing part, which may cause your instability of the problem in the beginning. Maybe you will start with that. And then uh, I have shown you varieties, various problems for computing uh, with all this method for the scalar equation, linear, nonlinear, linear advection, diffusion, and nonlinear with a diffusion or without diffusion. So I think then I saw some advantage, disadvantage of both formulation, Eulerian and Lagrangian. I think we should uh, stop now with this chapter and the next I would like to give you a little bit different approach which is called semi-Lagrangian. So it is you have understood this arbitrary Lagrangian Eulerian and now I will introduce you what is the semi-Lagrangian and what is the advantage of semi-Lagrangian. So in the next lecture I will talk about this method. So now I think we stop uh, this uh, all uh, numerical techniques uh, in this lecture today. Okay, thank you.